Hey y'all, welcome back. Y'all, it's been a hectic two days. The enemy does not like that I am reading this chapter of the Bible to y'all. He has fought me in every way, shape, or form over the last few days, but we're overcoming it. If we have to read two chapters a day, if we have to read three chapters a day, we will stay consistent with it. It may be a little non-consistent to be consistent. Y'all know what I mean. But he has fought me tooth and toenail to not bring y'all the readings. But we're not going to allow that to happen. We are saying right now that we are going to bring these readings no matter what. So today we're going to do chapter 21 and 22. And we're just going to get right into it. So we're going to start off with Luke chapter 21. And he looked up and saw the rich man casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor w widow casting in thither two mites. And he said, Of a truth I say unto you, that this poor woman hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God. But she of her punery hath cast in all the living that she had. And as some spake of of the temple, how it was adorned with godly stones and gifts, he said, As for these things which ye behold, the days will come in which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And the time draws near, go ye not, therefore, after them. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then, he, then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up into the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to mediate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but there shall not be an hair on your head to perish. In your patience possesses ye your souls. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation therefore is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it, depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon its people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive unto all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draws nigh. And he spake to them a parable, Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unaware. 
For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all the things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. And in the day time he was teaching in the temple, and at night he went out and abode in the mount that was called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. Chapter 22 Now the feast, of, the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then entered Satan unto Ju Judas, surnamed Aristocrat, Aristocrat, being of the number of twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him unto them. And they were glad and covenanted, covenanted him money and he promised and saw opportunity to to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude then came the day of unleavened bread when the passover must be killed and he sent peter and john saying go and prepare us the passover that we may eat and they said unto him where wilt thou that we prepare and he said unto them behold when ye entered into the city there shall a man meet you bearing a pitcher of water follow him into the house where he eateth entereth in and ye shall say unto the good man of the house, The master saith unto thee, Where is thy guest chamber, where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he shall show you a large upper room furnished, there make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And when the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among themselves, among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave them, gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, oft, after. Likewise, also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly, the Son of Man goeth as it was determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to inquire among themselves which of them it was that should do this thing. And there was also strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. And he said unto him, The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that ex exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and the, he that is chief, as he that doth serve. For whatso, whether, for whether is greater, he that sitteth at me, or he that serveth. Is not he that sitteth at me, but I am among you, as he that serveth. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom, as my father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in the kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, Behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted and strengthened by brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the, the cock shall not crow this day before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. And he said unto him, When I sent you without purse and scrip and shoe, lacked ye anything? And they said nothing. And said he unto them, But now he hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his scrip. And he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you that this that, this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors, transgressors for the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Lord... Behold, there are two swords, and he said unto them, It is enough. And he came out and went as he wont, 
to the Mount of Olives, Olives, and his disciples also followed him. And he was, when he was at his place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into t temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was it as it was as it was great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And he rose up, and when he rose up from prayer, and was come to his disciples, he found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. And while he yet spake, behold, a multitude, and he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, went before them, and drew near unto Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? When they which were about him saw what would follow, they said unto him, Lord, shall we smite with the sword? And one of them smote the servant in the high priest of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said unto the chief priests and captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, Be ye come out as against a thief, ye swore with swords and staffs. When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. Then took they him and led him and brought him into the high priest's house, and Peter followed afar off. And when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the hall, and were set down together, Peter sat down among them. But a certain maid beheld him as he sat by fire, and earnestly looked upon him, and said, This man also with him. And he denieth him, saying, Woman, I know him not. And after a little while another saw him, and said, Thou art also of them. And Peter said, Man, I am not. And about the space of one hour after another confidently affirmed, saying, of the truth, this fellow also was with him, for he is a Galilean. And Peter said, Man, I know what no, I know not what thou sayest. And immediately, while he yet spake, the cock crew. And the Lord turned and looked upon Peter, and P Peter remembered the word of the Lord, and how he had said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter went out and wept bitterly. And the men that held Jesus mocked him and smote him. And when they had blindfolded him, they stuck him on the face, struck him on the face, and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that smote thee? And many other things blasphemously speak they against him. And as soon as it was day, the elders of the people and the chief priests and the scribes came together and led him into the council, saying, Art thou the Christ? Tell us. And he said unto them, If I tell you, ye will not believe. And, and if I also ask ye, Ask you, ye will not answer me, nor let me go. Hereafter shall the man, Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. Then said they all, Art thou then the Son of God? And he said unto them, Yea, say that I, ye say that I am. And they said, What need we any further witness? For we ourselves had heard, have heard of his own mouth. So that was chapters 21 and 22 today. Again, I apologize. I have really been fought about doing this. It seems like everything comes um, crazily when it's about time to do these. So all, all that tells me is that I am doing the right thing and I am doing what God has shown me to do because it is being fought so hard by the enemy. So again, I hope that you all enjoy these readings. I have decided that we what I'm going to do on Christmas Day is I'm going to give you a testimony. It's something that I've been holding back. I've actually filmed me telling you all this two or three times on two or three different um, Bible reading videos, but I just felt that wasn't the time. So I'm going to, we're gonna finish reading up. We will finish Saturday and um, that will be our 24th chapter. And then on Sunday morning, I'm going to give you all a testimony. I understand if you can't watch it on Christmas morning or Christmas Day even. I get that. We're all going to be with our families and I want everyone to spend time with their families and love on them and just have a peace for that day. But I do want to give you all a testimony. I do, y'all know I like to ask for prayer requests and I love it when y'all ask for prayer requests. So I am asking for um, prayer today for my uncle 
we were informed yesterday that he has been put in the hospital. He has some pretty major battles that he has to face. Um, the doctors at this moment are saying it's not looking good, but I serve a God that can turn that completely around and make it um, good news and not bad news. So if you all would just cry out his name, his name is Jim. I would truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you all again for being patient with me. I'm praying that I will be back here tomorrow at noon to read the, to do the Bible reading and that y'all can join me. I'm hoping for the next couple of days, I can, Friday and Saturday, I can stay on schedule. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. Be blessed and don't forget to be a blessing. Bye y'all.